Police brutality is a vice that has been rooted in the Kenyan society for years. All those on the receiving end of that brutality are often residents of informal settlements. Shadrach Wamboy was one such resident. He grew up witnessing such violence in his community and vented his frustration at abusive police through boxing, cultivating discipline that helped him avoid confrontations that could have derailed his studies. Now an advocate of the High Court of Kenya, he is teaching young people to fight injustice in the ring and in the courtroom. At least 15 people were killed by police in 2020 as they were trying to enforce the national curfew imposed to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Such statistics are not the least bit surprising to advocates of the High Court of Kenya, Shadra Kumboi, who grew up witnessing this type of police brutality in the slums. hands of the police officers, I lost, we lost livelihoods and we also lost loved ones. From an early age, Womboy knew he wanted to counter unjust police, but he needed to figure out how. First, he turned to boxing. It became his outlet, a way for him to vent his anger in a healthy way. Then, he turned to the law. The idea of becoming a lawyer, I learned of it in, in class 8 and class 7. But there were this legal profession. But if you enrolled in it, it will help you in championing your course. In 2018, Wamboy realized his dream as he was admitted to the Kenyan bar and began fighting for justice. He launched Sharia Ta'ani, an organization with over 50 lawyers who dedicate part of their time to doing pro bono work in the slums. I fight for people's lives, I fight for people's uh, livelihoods, I fight for people's inheritance, I, I fight for people's lives. Literally speaking, when you are representing people who, upon conviction, might get a sentence of up to death, so you realize that you're fighting for people's life. Womboy has added a special twist to the manner in which he delivers legal advice. While he helps young men hone their punching techniques, he throws in information on their rights and instructions on what to do when confronted by the police. His decision to combine boxing and law is inspired by some of the greats. Madiba Mandela, Rohin Lala, was also a boxer and a lawyer. So really, being a boxer is about fighting. Being a lawyer is about fighting. So the courses, they're the ones that differ. But both uh, the, the martial art and the profession require some sense of um, commitment. One boy's hope is that boxing sessions will help young people believe in themselves despite the challenges they face. Mukami Wombora for Citizen TV.